Optimal Vitamin D Nutrition and Health in Childhood was the topic of Professor Stephen Abrams' lecture at the NNI Symposium during the 29th International Pediatric Association Congress, 2019. The important role of vitamin D in bone health is well established. Vitamin D supports calcium absorption and retention, as well as bone mineralization. In addition to its benefits on bone health, vitamin D may also play a role in preventing acute respiratory infections. Although bone health is crucial through the entire lifespan, the foundation of bone health is a pediatric responsibility. Optimizing bone mineralization in childhood is not only required to prevent nutritional rickets in children, but it also establishes optimal peak bone mass for ideal bone mass in life. Interestingly, in girls, the highest rate of bone mineralization occur earlier than in boys. Target values to define the vitamin D status in children remain a controversial issue, as Professor Abrams mentioned. Many pediatric associations consider serum or plasma levels of vitamin D below 50 nanomoles per litre as insufficient or deficient. Applying this cutoff value, 15% of young children in the United States are vitamin D deficient. In Mexico, more young children, about 25-27%, to 27%, are vitamin D deficient. Available data suggests that vitamin D deficiency may be widespread globally. Hotspots of vitamin D deficiency in low- and middle-income countries have been identified, for example, in India, Pakistan, Tunisia, and Mongolia. The occurrence of nutritional rickets in children is a clinical sign of vitamin D deficiency. The causes of nutritional rickets are lack of vitamin D or calcium in a child's diet. The incidence of nutritional rickets appears to be the greatest in Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. However, nutritional rickets has recently re-emerged in high-income countries. What are the sources of vitamin D? One of the main sources of vitamin D is the exposure to sunlight, which stimulates the body's own synthesis of vitamin D. Exposure to sunlight is heavily influenced by geographic location, seasonality, and social factors, which make sunlight exposure an unreliable source of vitamin D. In addition, many foods typically do not contain vitamin D, except for fatty fish like salmon and tuna, eggs, or hard cheese. A roadmap for action to reduce vitamin D deficiency includes mandatory fortification of staple foods, along with supplementation of at-risk subgroups. In his talk, Professor Abrams explained the criteria to assess vitamin D deficiency, and when an intervention should be initiated. In concluding his talk, Professor Abrams emphasized that vitamin D is critical on a global basis to prevent rickets. There is no evidence for routine use of high-dose vitamin D supplements. However, modest levels of vitamin D fortification are important for reaching the recommended dietary intakes. Future controlled trials will reveal the non-bone benefits of vitamin D in children.